Hello, everybody. Welcome to Brace Voices Podcast. This is episode 10, and I'm here with Tom West Avenue. If you would like to introduce yourself. So, you guys, my name is Tom West Avenue. And she'll be playing here today at school. So, I would like to ask you a few questions because we're very happy to have you here and we're glad that you came. So, we all, on behalf of everybody, thank you. Pleasure, and- my pleasure, my pleasure. So I'll ask you a few questions if you if you would be okay with that. So can for you start? sure, for sure. Okay, so the first the first question I want to ask you is how would you describe your music? Um, my music is a I I, I can tell that it is a a super versatile type of music. You know, because I'm a singer songwriter, I write all kinds of genre, name it R and B, acoustic reggae pop uh i do rap too but you know like i'm i'm not like rapper rapper but i can write so yeah i can say it's so versatile and like a singer songwriter type of music yeah and out of these which one do you enjoy writing the most gosh (laughs) that's hard but um i can say i have top three like i have i i love writing reggae because uh, that always represents me um, and uh, my acoustic type and uh, R and B pop. Hmm. <laughs> That's very interesting, and I kind of expected those answers actually. It just <laughs> sounds like yeah. And so another question is, what is your creative process like when you want to like make something? Um, that is really depends on my mood and what's going on around me. So sometimes I can write easily because of the, you know, like the inspiration that I get from people, um, from the environment. Um, Whenever I feel good, it's it's awkward because whenever I feel good, sometimes I write sad song. When I feel bad, I write happy song. (laughs) So like, you know, to balance things. But yeah, um, creating music is like something that is unpredictable to me. So like sometimes you just feel it like flow in. Yes, yes. Sometimes I was fighting with somebody like, you know, like not fighting, but, you know, at work, somebody like one of one of my patients is like acting weird and then throwing bad words on us while at work and i'm like you know we cannot fight back and that's not like the professional thing to do so i'm gonna write it in a song or something like that (laughs) and another question for you is what do you think or what would you be doing right now if you didn't have a musical career i don't think if you're gonna believe me with this but if i'm not writing song and if i'm not you know playing music and beside uh, aside from aside from being in the medical field, like I will always tell this and it's not gonna change. Every podcast, I will say I'm an MMA fighter right now. <laughs> Are you gonna believe that? <laughs> kind of, yeah. Okay, I would, I would all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was, it, it's gonna be so. like, you know, cause half of my life is uh, sports and, sorry, sports and music. So, yeah. So MMA fighter, that's really cool. <laughs> yeah, I totally, I can totally like see it. Oh man! And can you tell me like the best piece of advice that you've ever received? Um, um, ever received? Yeah, somebody always um one 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 advice that stuck in my head is like be yourself. You know, everything you do, be yourself. Like not change yourself for anybody, just um, you know, just always be true in what mm-hmm. you're doing and be yourself. Like, don't change for somebody else. Change, uh, change. You you can you know change for the good. Um, what I mean with that is, um, you know, some but sometimes, uh, people fi- just they want to get something just to get fit in Mm -hmm. to to a situation and then they're doing the opposite of who they are you know pretending that they are this just to fit in 
and that you know like a big a big no no to me so you know you cannot please everybody yeah yeah you, know, you cannot please everybody like even you make 10 good things and you made one mistake people will always remember the one, one mistake. mistake yeah so you know always be true yeah like there's always room for self improvement but it's not for it's not good to change for like something else is yes. what you're getting at yeah always yeah. change for the better not for the worse very well and that's a that's a good way of reciprocating that advice yes sir and i want to ask you what inspires you to make music what, like stuff like that hmm a lot of a lot of things actually but what inspired me the most is you know being an lgbtq community it's always this you know i'm always discouraged to do the music because back in the philippines you know when when you're in the lgbt community it's like a, there's no much support that you can get i don't know if um you know uh that that's that situation was back in the days when i'm still there so that's why i was i was forced myself to do just focus on being an athlete because you know doing music is like i'm super discouraged to do it because like people will judge me for for you don't get much support yeah, yeah you know yeah and that can bring you down can it like it can bring you down but you if you like you say you stay true to yourself mm -hmm. and like and then you can overcome that that's right so another thing i, I gotta ask what's your favorite thing about performing music about doing what you do <laughs> you know what uh when i play music i feel like a hundred percent me i'm always happy doing it that's like one of my favorite thing to do re releasing distressing so whatever i am ha whatever i have in my back like you know sadness um whatever negativity that i have i always unpack it whenever i play music to give my 100 percent best of like my 100 percent best of me performing so that thing too you know that's one of my stress reliever music is my medicine so that's one of my favorite thing playing music yeah like you adore it <laughs> and um somebody might have told me that recently you went on a tour on the philippines so could you tell me something that you learned there like when oh, you yeah. learned about that oh man going home and uh yeah just play music over there with family friends and other people that didn't even know me and you know start supporting me it's a different kind of feeling like you know i'm in, like you know the cloud nine feeling yeah it was it was fun like going home for the first time and like touring with different um cities was an accomplishment for me it is something i will always be proud of and i'm excited to go back again yeah we're heading to new zealand that's december so, 7. That's really i will cool. be back next year january 9. Oh. we will be playing music over there too well everybody i think everybody is looking forward to it then yeah, yeah. <laughs> no it's uh it's a big it's a big milestone you know like being able to perform you know have fun oh, doing something you I'm excited. absolutely adore <laughs> yeah and last but not least, the last question I want to ask you, and mm -hmm. I think it's one of the most important ones, is what would be a piece of advice that you would give to somebody who's in a, who would be in a situation in a situation similar to yours back then, or who wants to get into music? Mm. It's the same advice that I always get: be true to yourself. Plus, don't stop believing. You know, add faith in your dreams and make it happen just make it happen <laughs> well thank you so much once again i appreciate you, so you liam for having me here thank you very much and i think we can call it off that was another episode thank you everybody and goodbye thank you